Hey guys, today we are gonna review the down underboard. If you're looking for power and accuracy, this training aid might help you. All right, hey guys, I'm Brady and this is Tyson with Golf Ascending. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, we do create weekly golf content. So click that subscribe button and the notification bell. And today, like I mentioned, we are gonna review the Down Underboard by Bradley Hughes. I think this is the 2.0. It's got the black and the white. And so it's supposed to help you with accuracy and power. So me and Tyson have actually tested this out for quite a while. And this particular training aid is used by notable PGA Tour players like Harold Varner, Harold Varner, BJ Singh, and Brandon Todd. Brandon Todd. So some notable players there. Um, it's a pretty cool training aid. It's been pretty popular. So I'm actually going to go to Tyson. He's going to talk a little bit more about it, the mechanics, and kind of his opinion. Then I'll come back to me. All right, guys. So this is the down underboard. So before I get super technical into it, let's talk about how it actually works. So basically, this is essentially just an adjustable plastic base that you stick in between your legs. Now what this does is you squeeze together and you apply pressure off the sides of the down underboard. And what this does is it helps you maintain balance, create compression in the ball, and help you rotate through in order to help you get a good shot. Now I'm gonna touch on those three um, aspects a little bit later in the review. But I'm gonna go over a couple of the specs with this thing that um, is kind of cool and interesting to know. So this is the 2.0 version. They uh, previously had a 1.0 version that was just a solid piece of plastic. Um, this one is adjustable. So if you are hitting a driver all the way down to a wedge, you can adjust the size accordingly. And even for those short little pitch shots, you can actually turn it on its side and it is actually small enough for those little pitch shots. So that's essentially the idea behind it and how to actually do it. I'm gonna go into why I like it personally and specifically touching on um, you know, the, the balance and kind of rotating through. I have a tendency in my golf swing to, you know, I call it you know, letting a shot go, letting it get away from me. And that's because I don't actually follow through and rotate through with my hips. And so what this does because of the compression is that kind of squeeze makes it so that I have to rotate through with the hips. And so I can actually feel that pressure um, and the power that I'm actually generating while having this in between my legs. So I really like that for that reason. Another thing too is the balance thing. Um, you know, you guys know me and Brady, we film a lot. We like to have that nice picture perfect pose at the end. And sometimes it's hard to just stay balanced and all the way through. And what this does, because you are applying pressure to the sides, is it helps you keep that stable ground. So I really like that about it. And the last thing I wanna to touch on, guys, is compression, okay? That's a big word in golf. Compression helps you get more spin, helps you get more power, helps you get optical ball flights. And as you're applying the pressure to the sides of the down underboard, you're using more force driving the ball down and, and swinging through. And so I've seen some of my best shots when I'm using the down underboard correctly, I'm seeing the best ball flights, the, the best distances, and the best spin numbers. So that's essentially my review on this. Um, I'm gonna hop over to Brady real quick here. He's gonna give you his thoughts. Um, but yeah. All right guys, so I'm gonna talk about my opinion as I've used this. Both Tyson and I have tested it for a little while and taken it to the range. And some of my first thoughts are, I think it is really helpful with balance and keeping you pretty steady when you're doing the golf swing. Um, I really like using it with my irons because I just feel like when I do it, almost all my shots were pretty pure. They weren't always perfectly straight, but that was things I need to adjust with my swing. But as far as my uh, weight shift, I felt like I was hitting them pretty pure and it felt really good with my irons. Uh, to be honest, when I was bringing out the woods, I had a little bit harder time because I felt like I was thinking of too much. Like uh, Tyson said, you can adjust this and make it wider for woods or driver. Um, for me, I'm, I'm personally working on some things with my woods and driver, so maybe that's not the best example, but I did feel like I had to think about too many things when I had it there. But overall, with the irons, I felt like it really helped me to just have that compression and then also something I've been struggling with is my follow through where I'd kind of just be <laughs> a little out of control. And so this, it keeps your legs there and you just, I don't know, it almost feels like a, a professional a professional golf swing. I think of a PGA Tour player when I do it and it feels pretty good. 
Um, some negatives that um, me and Tyson wanted to mention is that it's better if you hit it off a mat when you're at a driving range because if you're hitting off the grass, it kind of, it's hard to adjust and move. And as you bring in another ball, you have to kind of move forward or backwards. And when you're on grass, it's harder to move the board. But when it's on a mat, it's perfect. So that's pretty nice about it. Another somewhat negative thing is, is that it doesn't fit in most golf bags. So as you can see, it does fit in my big cart bag, but just barely. I don't think it'll fit in most cart bags. And even then, um, if you have a lot of stuff in your pocket, this thing's barely gonna fit. But, you know, it's not the worst thing. It is a little bit bigger, but there are bigger training aids. So at least you can switch it around. It's kind of compact, but that's just something to be aware of. But those are some of my thoughts of this training aid and um, we'll end it out here. All right, guys, that is me and Brady's opinions and thoughts on the down under board. Um, if you guys are interested, this is $100 for the training aid. Um, we do have a link down below, check it out. Um, but overall, I think I would say, you know, this is a really good training aid if you're kind of going in the grind. Okay, you're going to the range a whole bunch and you're just trying to get that muscle memory. This probably isn't something that I'm like, I would keep in the bag all the time. Like, oh, I'll just whip it out and hey, use the down under board. It's gonna be something where I'm really thinking about, I really need to work on compression and balance and I'm specifically bringing this training aid in to the range with me. Yeah. So that's kind of the overall thoughts. Um, definitely is helpful. Um, you know, if you guys do struggle with compression with balance and you know even accuracy definitely give this thing a try um, definitely worth it but uh, if you guys like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe Brady and I um, upload golf content every week we'll see you next time